بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear students of year 6 Welcome in a new lesson of our Islamic studies First, I hope all of you are in the best health Second, I need to extract the title of our lesson after this activity Look to these pictures and try to extract what these pictures means and when will happen. The first picture blowing in the trumpet. Second, the heaven is opened and becomes as gates. Third, mountain destroyed and becomes as mirage. Fourth, hell dark is for its people. Yes. All these acts are signs of the day of judgment. Wonderful. And do you know other signs for the day of judgment? Yes, think and try to mention some. There are minor and major signs for the Day of Judgment. I will read three from each one and try to complete the others. One, liars will spread everywhere. Two, people will follow guidance other than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Women will dress like men. From major signs, Dajjal, the false messiah or antichrist, this man who is one eye. Second, Juj and Majuj, and the smoke. And complete the others. Now, what do you then tell us what do you learn from it? Accountability. So all people will account about their deeds. Absolute justice. So all people will ju will have justice and will take the rights. Heaven and hell. So will be heaven and hell, and good people will enter hell. Uh, will enter sorry paradise, and bad people will enter. Hell. And our lesson about surat and nabi. Verses 17 to 40, and our learning objectives will be recite Surah al Nabi verses from 17 to 40 with proper tajweed, clarify the meaning of Quranic vocabulary, explain the consequence of good and bad deeds, and fair punishment of disbelievers and the word of the believers on the day of judgment. Now listen to these verses from 17 to 30 from Surat An Naba and repeat it after me. Audu Billahi Mina Shaytan Rajim. In Yawm al Fasli Kanami Kota. يوم ينفخ في الصور فتأتون أفواجا وفتحت السماء فكانت أبوابا وسيرت الجبال فكانت سرابا إن جهنم كانت مرصادا للطاغين مآبا لابثين فيها أحقابا
لا يذوقون فيها بردا ولا شرابا إلا حميما وغساقا جزاء وفاقا إنهم كانوا لا يرجون حسابا وكذبوا بآياتنا كذابا وكل شيء أحصيناه كتابا فذوقوا فلن نزيدكم إلا عذابا صدق الله العظيم And this is the meaning of some of Quranic vocabulary. Yawm al fasl the day of judgment where Allah will spread the good and bad people. The day of judgment where Allah will spread the good and bad people. Kan mi qata was the time for judgment have a specific time and only Allah know this day when will be Asur the horn to be blown by the angels Rafil Afwaja numerous groups and this is the page of the verses as come in the your Islamic book and we know the meaning of the verses during the previous video. So, 
can you tell me the general meaning for these verses? Yes. <clears throat> these verses, Allah talk about the day of judgment. It has a fixed time, and in this day, the angel Rafi will blowing in the trumpet and all the heaven will open as gates and the hell's mountain become destroyed as mirage become as a mirage and the hell lurk is in ambush will be lurk is to its people and also this mean uh, they will stay in hell for a long time those people who, who will enter hell will stay in the hell for a long time and they will drink a uh, boiling water and they will eat a uh, bad they will eat bad food such as thorn and And this is all this punishment for bad people according to their bad deeds from didn't believe by Allah, by his prophets, by the verses of Quran and doing bad deeds. And Allah in the last two verses told he all the deeds that all of you doing are recorded in a book. So people focus in this matter and try to do good deeds to win in the day of judgment. And those who doing bad deeds try to repeat it to Allah and say Astaghfirullah and do good deeds to win in the day of judgment. So the heaven will open and become as a gates, mountain will be destroyed and become as a mirage, and hell's lark is for its people. And punishment for the bad people will be they will enter hell, staying in hell uh, for more years, for a long time. No end for this punishment, and they will drink a boiling water, and they didn't found any coldness in the hell. <laughs> إن للمتقين مفازا حدائق وأعنابا وكواعب أترابا وكأسا دهاقا لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا كذابا جزاء من ربك عطاء حسابا رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما الرحمن لا يملكون منه خطابا يوم يقوم الروح والملائكة صفا 
لا يتكلمون إلا من أذن له الرحمن وقال صوابا ذلك اليوم الحق فمن شاء اتخذ إلى ربي مآبا إنا أنذرناكم عذابا قريبا يوم ينظر المرء ما قدمت يداه ويقول الكافر يا ليتني كنت ترابا صدق الله العظيم yes. Praying, giving charity, fasting, do hajj, respect others, oh, etc. Here, this is the general meaning of the verses, and we know we watched this before in the here the meaning of some vocabulary. Only this ver only this vocabulary you need to focus in it. Mafaza, they win paradise. Atraba, at the same age. Lagwa, falsehood and lies. Ata and hisaba, giving abundantly. And the general meaning for these verses talk about the reward for the believer or good people. And they will win gardens of peace. They enjoy the uh, plowing archers in the paradise where they have the desire of Krishna's fruit. They are also married to pretty ones, women with wide, lovely eyes, and the overed cups that are full of the most delicious drinks there. They don't hear lies or bad words. All these generous rewards is a bounty from the Lord of the heavens and the earth, who is His mercy impressed everything. This is the description for the types of place in paradise, several gardens of trees, flowers, and fruits. Cups of drink, pure water, and all fresh fruits juice. Uh, not hear any annoying or bad words in paradise. Okay. And these some pictures. Not this really, but this is to just only to have some view about the place in Jannah but the place in Jannah will be more and more beautiful more than this this is just only to with yourself according to our explaining and here explain the following with the understanding from the verses the winners who I think the right person is all good people. Okay, the reward will be in third paradise and have more blessings in Jannah, like what we mentioned before. Reason for this winning because they did good deeds and worship Allah well. And the final evaluation, you have not got answer about these questions. Clarify the meaning of Yom Al-Fas, Kanami Kata, Asur, Afwaja. Explain the meaning of these verses and further events of the Day of Judgment from these verses and compare between the consequences of good and bad people in the Day of Judgment. If you answer this question, will be God, but if not, please try to ask me 
or repeated the video again. And the link is for our lesson with subjects with Arabic. What is the Arabic call for just and judge? Just and judge. Al Al Adl and Al Hakam. What What do you know when you know that Allah will judge you about your deeds? What you will do when you know that Allah will count you about your deeds in the day of judgment? With your E, what is the grace of Allah upon your E? Challenge question. Mention another names of the day of judgment. As we, as you know, in the verses, mention Yawm al Fast. This is the day of separated. Yawm al Fast. Na Yawm al Fast li kana mi qata. Try to mention the other names for the day of judgment. And I, I, I can tell you some of them, like Yawm al Din. Al Yawm al Akhir, the last day. Yawm al Qiyama. Day of Judgment or Day of Resurrection, Yawm al Hisab, Count Day, Al Sa'a, Al Haqqa, Al Sakha, Al Qari'a. There is more names for the Day of Judgment. And our resources are Islamic book, YouTube, Keshul, PowerPoint, and the Internet. Try to search more about. Uh, names for the Day of Judgment and more of the signs of the Day of Judgment. And your homework will be as following on the students' activities, pages 182 to 184. And in the end of our lesson, I hope all of you understand our lesson. Take care by yourself and your family. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.